Hey guys, it's Huff. I am back again. Did you miss me? You know you did. Um, uh, other than some uh, swatchy type videos, which will be coming up over the next few weeks, you've probably already seen one, um, and some collection videos I haven't filmed properly in over a month. Um, June was, let's just say it was not a great month for me. It, uh, things did not go well, but uh, I am back and I'm starting to feel a bit better uh, now that the season is starting to turn. Um, I do get some seasonal adjustment issues. Um, if you want me to go more in depth into what happened in, in June, let me know. I can do a video on it um, if you want to hear about mental health stuff. Uh, anyway, that's not what this video is about. Um, this video is a haul. Um, I don't really do hauls very much anymore. I don't really like watching them either because I'm trying not to spend money, you know, you're going to pay for a wedding and stuff. However, I did shop at Priceline for this. So they did this gift bag where you got uh, over $160 of free cosmetic stuff for uh, if you spent $69. Now I didn't actually spend $69. I had a whole bunch of gift cards from Christmas which I still hadn't used. Um, I'd used like $24 on one of them and I had like $200 worth. So I spent gift cards instead. Um, and bought some stuff that I'd been looking at, stuff that I was curious about, not stuff that I needed. Um, I have been doing some decluttering, so I have been getting rid of some stuff. Uh, it wasn't planned or anything. It was just going through stuff and realising that it was either off or I didn't really like it or whatever. Um, they're in my collection videos that are coming up. Um, but I... And there were a few kind of like a base type things, like primer type things, because I really don't have a lot of that stuff in. So I... Um, in in money that I had to pay out, I paid 95 cents. Uh, the rest of it came off gift cards, and I still have gift cards to spend. And I have to spend them by the end of the year, else they go to waste, because the uh, price line ones are only 24 months. Uh, sorry, 12 months. So, yeah. Um, so, I got this bag. There was actually a choice of two different colorways. There was this one with, like, the blue edging and sort of like a whatever colour this is showing to you because it looks like about four different colours um, and there was one that had like a pink trim but was much like warmer toned in the reflective stuff it was probably exactly the same reflective stuff just the edging and the zip made it look different so first of all I will show you the stuff that I've, I, I bought in order to get it um, now that most <laughs> a lot of this is NYX stuff um, there was only certain brands that were um included in the cosmetics that you could buy. NYX was one of them, um, Models Prefer was another, um, and I think Astralis was one of them, but I didn't buy anything from Astralis. So, from NYX, I got the Pigment Primer, which I've been looking for for a while, and it's been sold out online, and it has been sold out in store for quite a while, um, but they had it when I went in there the other day, so that was cool, because um, I did buy another one, and I don't know if it's any good, it's um, Astralis or one of those ones, um, but everybody says that this one's like really good, so I got this one, I also decided to try the Lash Primer from NYX, um, I don't know, I don't know if it's white. Um, I really want a white one. I, I hadn't taken out any of this out of the packaging. Oh yes, it's white. Cool. <laughs> okay, so this is actually a white primer, which is what I want. I have a NYX um, purple mascara, and it doesn't show up on my eyelashes very well. Um, so I wanted to see whether a white primer would actually help with that. So I got that. Also from NYX, I got something that I have been um, intending to buy for a really long time and never actually did, um, and that is the NYX Blush in Taupe, which is supposed to be a really good contour colour for those of us with lighter skin, at least that's what I'd heard like years ago. Um, that's what colour it is. It's a very greyed out which is really weird that it's a blush because it's quite grey. But 
I can see how that would make pretty decent wash. Sorry if the light is not great. Um, one must remember it is winter in Australia. Um, it's also afternoon. It's like two o'clock, something like that. Three o'clock. <laughs> Whoops. Um, yeah, so it's uh, later in the day and the sun's over that way a bit more. Uh, also from NYX, I got the Strictly Vinyl Lip Gloss in Bad Seed, which appears to be... <laughs> I didn't actually swatch it. I swatched the other lip product that I bought. Like, I need lip products. Like, I need lip products like I need a hole in the head, quite frankly. Um, it looks to be green. And I... I thought if I'm going to buy lip products, I have lip products galore in normal colours, but unusual colours, as you can see. I don't mind an unusual colour. If you're wondering what this is, this is um, the NYX Matte Suede Lip Cream in Little Denim Dress, or whatever the hell that it's called. Um, it's in Little Denim, Denim Dress with... My Fuego lip liner, which is kind of like a reddish coloured lip liner, blended on the edges. So this is what Bad Seed looks like. This is what the tube looks like. Oh, wow. That is great. I'm sure it's quite sticky because it feels quite sticky. Uh, probably makes a mess. Not transfer proof, but who cares? that colour. It's great. Love it. Awesome. Uh, and from Models Prefer, which is not a brand I buy very often, they're not exactly the cheapest of brands. Um, in They're probably in price line. They're about comparable to NYX, and NYX is not exactly cheap. Um, and mind you, anybody who knows anything about Australian cosmetic prices knows that cosmetics in Australia are generally not cheap. Um, I hear people talking about Revlon in America and how, you know, it's this drugstore brand that doesn't cost very much. And most of the stuff that you can get from Revlon in Australia starts at about $15. Uh, yeah, Revlon is not a cheap brand in Australia. It's actually really expensive. Um, it is almost, the prices make it almost luxury brand. This does not want to open. You all know I'm past package challenge. <laughs> and you know, they put... I know why they do it. It's for health and safety reasons. Because people will open a product instead of using the tester. This lip product, which I bought from Models Prefer, I did actually... The um, security thing is like stuck. And it's stopping everything else. Um, I did actually swatch this one in store before I bought it. It's from this line. They have um, the, it's called the Twilight Metallic Liquid Lip. This is like the darkest one I think they had. Um, this is called Aurora. It is basically a fairly dark mauvey kind of colour. Um, it stays on pretty well too, like it stayed on my hand pretty well um, for a bit after I uh, left the store. And lastly, from of the stuff that I bought in order to get the gift bag, and I think it was, I think I spent like 70 like the total was like $75 or something. The last thing I bought is this Models Prefer Ombre Highlighter. Um, this is Daybreak Ombre Highlighter. And you can see it goes from like a champagne colour through to a purple colour. I'm pretty sure I have nothing like this in my collection, which is why I was drawn to it, is because it's got like that purple tone. I'm just going to swell because, oh wow. <laughs> That's what I do. Oh, that's beautiful. It's kind of like pinky. Oh, I like. That is so pretty. Ooh, I like it. I like it. I like it. I'm glad I bought that. Um, 
Yeah. So that was pretty good. And models prefer is an Australian um, is uh, brought into. It's made in the PRC wood, isn't? Um, but it's one that they import it for Priceline. So let's get into this bag of makeup stuff, sleepy thing. It's a really nice bag. Um, I got this one, I got it last year when they did this, um, but it was a completely different type of bag. And I got the skincare one this year as well. So um, the first thing that is in here is um, a powder contour from Australis, Australian brand. Um, they've started doing this customization thing where you can buy like a magnetic palette like a Z palette but not a Z palette um, and then buy like your products and this is Havana which so they come in just they're just ordinary uh, pans that you can put in a Z palette I have Z palettes so that's no problem this is actually it's, it's just like really hard to I put it in a really bad spot so I'm my hand it's a very light contour so actually really good for people who are light-skinned like me um, I would not want to be deep-skinned in Australia it's really really hard to get um, colors if you've got really deep skin and this put this is pulling quite gray as well which is good nothing worse than a warm contour um, yeah People with deeper skin in Australia have such a hard time. Such a hard time. This is a repeat product for me. This was in last year's. This is the Baby Balm and Blush. And this is even in exactly the same colour. This is Shimmering Bronze. So I actually already have one of these. So I'll probably put that one aside. Um, they gave us a brush from Nude by Nature. Which is a mineral makeup company. I have the primer. It's quite a soft brush. It's a very short handle. It's quite dense but soft. We'll see. I mean, who says no to brushes? Brushes are great. It's got a little thing with it. It's the flawless brush, suitable for all powder formulas. The short, tightly packed bristles of the flawless brush effortlessly deliver just the right amount of formula for a polished, flawless finish. It is ergonomically designed for the best control and is made of ultra soft, high quality synthetic fibers. Um, Swispers Cucumber Makeup Wipes. I like these. I've bought these a lot. These are great. There's only like five in here, but. So I'll probably chuck that in my handbag because that would be good for in my handbag. They always give you a nail file. This is the Manicare Beck and Bridge nail file. I don't use nail files like this very much. I have one in my handbag, but that's like for absolute dire emergencies because my nails are acrylic. So um, I tend to need a really good quality one. Uh, then we have these Impress Press on Manicure Nails, which Clearly, I'm not going to use um, because uh, my nails are, um, yeah, for a start, my nails are longer most of the time than these actual nails are. Um, and I can pretty much do any design that they've got on those m myself. Um, and it's so weird when you look at the picture, they've put them on so badly in the picture that they don't fit the nails properly. Uh, but I'm sure like maybe one day my daughter might like to use them or um, something or I'll put them in a giveaway or something. But I certainly won't be using them. So. <laughs> uh, I also got the Most Prefer Matte Finale Makeup Setting Mist. The only problem is that I'm not really a matte person. Um, I found that matte makes me look dry, basically. Um, but I'll try it out. Um, I've just finished my La A setting spray. I have one one or two more sitting there. Um, I've been trying out different setting sprays to find one that I really like. Um, I really like the Australis one because it smells really, really good. But that doesn't mean I'm going to keep on buying it. Um, they also put in a twin pack of these Thousand Hour um, Fake Lashes. Um, these have 
adhesive and two pairs of eyelashes. Um, they're apparently demure. Demure my butt. <laughs> the ones I've got on now are demure. These are like full on. These are probably almost twice the length of the ones I'm wearing. This would literally come up here. Okay, next we have from Savvy, which is owned by Designer Brands. Um, it's a fairly low end, cheap, not necessarily bad, just cheap. Um, this is their brow highlighter. It's uh, nude on one end and gold on the other end. Why would I want a gold highlighter on my eyebrow? Um, I'm sure I'll find something to do with this. I'll probably make a, um, a good eyeliner as well, or eye base even. Um, but yeah. That's, that's what that is, which is fine. Um, there's a nail polish, which is always good, and I don't have this one. <laughs> this is from Models Own. This is one of their chrome ones. This is chrome rose. I have, uh, I think it's the blue one. Or the, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the blue one. Uh, chrome indigo, I think it is. Um, yeah, so I don't have this one, so that's really good. Never say no to nail polish. There is a lip balm from Karen Murrell. I have two Karen Murrell lipsticks. Um, these are supposed to be like really, really good, but this one is actually just a lip balm. Um, and I have, I didn't know that she did lip balms. I'm just gonna, that's what it looks like. I'm not actually gonna open it because I have lip balms on the go at the moment. It just says a moisture stick 01, so. I really like her packaging. It's like really sleek looking. It's great. Um, yeah, so she's a natural um, beauty company, I think. I don't know where she's based. Um, oh, she is based in Auckland, New Zealand. So there you go. So it's a New Zealand company. That's cool. Two more things in here. We have from NYX, funnily enough, one of their blushes. Um, even though I, I bought one, uh, I didn't know this was in here. I didn't really look too hard at what was in it first. Would have been a bummer if I bought something that was in it, but I didn't, so not a problem. Um, but this one is actually in Intuition. This is a shimmery blush, unlike the taupe one, which is matte. So it's um, like a deep peachy tone. Find some on my hand. That's pretty. That's pretty as a highlighter. But it's pretty. And lastly was a lip product. This is from Australis Aussie brand. This is called Donut and it's from their liquid lips line. I do have another one of their liquid lips uh, but not in Donut. This is this looks almost straight up brown in the tube. Oh, we'll see. Oh no, it's like a grayed out. I mean, it's brown, but it's like a like a gray grayish brown. You can see that this other lip one that I got, the Twilight one, it's dried down. Like, it's, it's dry, but it's still shiny, and the, um, the lip gloss is not, so, and that's that one. So it's a sort of more grey and more brown than the other one, but I actually don't mind that. That's, I think that's kind of cool. So that is all the stuff that I got from Priceline and in the Priceline makeup bag. So if you want to subscribe, click the button down there, leave me a thumbs up if you like haul videos or makeup videos or me looking at stuff for videos, and leave me a comment down below, I try to respond to all comments, and I will see you in my next video. See ya!